viewers welcome to another edition of the latest news of war viewers the dying regime of abi ahmed has in the early morning hours of 30 of november has bombed the takeze hydroelectric dam that the regime in addis ababa will do what it can to destroy anything that could benefit the people of tigray is nowhere more clear the spokesman of the tigray government mr gadrachurida says that the ethiopian planes bombed the takeze hydroelectric dam we were ethiopia using iranian chinese turkish drones bombed the takeze hydroelectric power today in similar there was a drone attack in civilian mostly populated residential areas in makale once again tigray world must to something in ethiopia humanity is lost viewers abi ahmed in the tigray war by a missile worth millions of dollars and launched drones worth millions of dollars the cost of flying hundreds of thousands of dollars to kill innocents who live on less than a dollar a day and targets a dam built at a cost of 224 million dollars from the tragedies of the war on tigray on the other hand according to the sources a strong war between sudan and ethiopia army has started again in the release of the two countries especially al fashaka this month the two sides fought against al fashaka as their two governments claimed Ethiopia and Sudan have been arguing over land for a long time but another issue has come out regarding the war going on in Ethiopia Sudan and Egypt have become very clear when Ethiopia is helping Turkey and Iran and viewers the Oromo Freedom Army has stated that the prosperity regime has been carried out by Wallaga air strike the Oromo Freedom Army international spokesman has stated that the air strike in east wallaga zone has been broken the oromo freedom army spokesman who said that the attack by helicopter has started in east wallaga zone ibantu warida has explained that the fighting has occurred in many areas of the zone it has been reported that hundreds of innocent oromo people have died in the air strike the oromo freedom army spokesman who condemned the attack as an attack on humanity has recalled that he has repeatedly shown his concern for the innocent romo people in volo and east volega some of the so called worst air strikes were done in these areas the spokesman hopeless acts are making many innocent citizens lost their precious lives it should not be forgotten that at least 71 citizen have been killed by the drone attack on volo oromo it will also be remembered that many oromo people were killed displaced and destroyed their homes by the amhara region armed group fano in east volo zone kiram warida so where this is the latest update about it for more latest report please subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching